everyone and welcome back I bet this for you TV we are back again here to give you some more tips as of course the second semi-final is on and it's a big one between England and Denmark at Wembley so let's keep our fingers crossed England has done really well so far and they are just one step away to reach the final of Wembley uh, it will be a fantastic event if they can do so but before they can focus on the final they need to defeat a Denmark side that have been in great form as I said in the previous show we've been achieving some fantastic results here at the Euros we started the group stages by winning nearly every day uh, our bets and uh, we had a little bit of problems in the um, in the last 16 when the big surprises came in with Netherlands went out and uh, France went out of course and there were a lot of uh, um, very unpredictable results like the draw with Spain and the Croatia for 3-3 but in the quarter we came back so strongly that we're now on a very good streak of winning bets and that's what we want to do to finish up this tournament so that this could be the biggest the better tournament from a betting perspective that we have never done and hope that you've been following us so that would be the same for you so in the show today uh, we are going to have uh, um, our experts here Benis for UTB at quarter providing tips but before that we're also going to Robbie Billion that is our uh, Premier League expert that will give us the tips on uh, uh, England against Denmark as I said in the previous show as we are only talking about one game and we are uh, having multiple uh, experts tipping the game there could be uh, situations where uh, the tips are conflicting with each other when this is the case uh, we always suggest to go with the tips uh, that you feel more close to your art or maybe with the bet and the suggestion and the analysis that more represent what is your uh, thinking um, after all, we believe that this is the best way to do and we want to give you some as much as possible ammunition and uh, um, thinking so that you can make your own mind and uh, hopefully you can get a winning bet out of it or more than one as, we have, as it has happened in the last few uh, days. So uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is to click on the subscribe button once I've logged into your YouTube account. And also, very important, hit the bell as that will allow you to get notifications every time we post a new video. This uh, is the best way to avoid missing out great tips from our experts. Also, if you like some of the tips that are presented in this show, all you need to do is to, to check in the description below as we've placed all the links that will load the bets directly in the Bookmaker website. In this way, you will save time, you will make sure you back our tips correctly, and also you will probably get a better return if we manage to win the bets as uh, we select the bookmaker that have the best odds at the time of recording. Of course, odds are subject to change, so always double check them before betting. So we are now ready to go and uh, we are uh, starting with uh, tips from uh, uh, our expert uh, Robbie Bielund on uh, Denmark, or England against Denmark, I should say, at Wembley. Robin, that's over to you. Hi guys, we are back again here at Betting Tips for You, previewing the second of the two semi-finals here at the Euro 2020. Uh, it will be a game between England and Denmark at Wembley. Uh, it will be uh, not full capacity, but there will be a big crowd at Wembley. And uh, we are, of course, expecting an amazing atmosphere. Even though, of course, it's uh, a bit of shame that we won't see too many of the Ruligans, the Danish fan fans coming over. But of course that is due to the travel uh, restrictions that we have. But still, Wembley will be buzzing, boiling. It's all about footballs coming home. And England, they have of course uh, the feeling now through the entire country that this is the chance they have uh, here. A win against Denmark would see them go into a final at home at Wembley. And the buzz around this team is, of course, amazing. And uh, they have shown so far, no, not even conceded a single goal. They scored four against Ukraine. Uh, this is about the team spirit. Raheem Sterling, Harry Kane, of course, leading uh, the team with their three goals each. But also seeing the defensive stability. They had a Jordan Henderson coming on, adding his first goal in the national shirt against Ukraine. And uh, you have a feeling that there is something special with this England side. Uh, and maybe this could be the year where football is coming home. Um, but Denmark, of course, 
We cannot take anything away from them. We all know how the tournament started uh, with the absolute horrendous scenes at Parken in Copenhagen in the first game against Finland. It was probably not right to even allow them to play that game. And then, of course, shocked with that uh, still in mind when it went up against Belgium. But then they have come together as a group, as a team. They have been very impressive and they have scored 10 goals from the last three games. Of course, you can argue that the way going all the way here to Wembley has been quite convenient for Denmark. Uh, they won 4 1 against Russia in the last group game and then 4 0 against Wales and 2 1 against the Czech Republic here in the quarterfinal. But still, it's a job that has to be done and they have impressed with attacking creative football. Kasper Dulberg coming in instead of Joseph Paulson have scored three goals in the last two games. And then, of course, Joachim Mele, uh, what an absolutely amazing player this Atalanta wingback have shown that he is. And he could surely attract interest from a bigger club. Even though, of course, Atalanta is one of uh, Italy's best clubs, an amazing club in Europe. But still, we all know that there could be even bigger names going in for him in the summer. But this semi-final will be an absolutely amazing game. And we have, of course, combined here, building up a bet builder ahead of the game. And then also picked out our best bet of the day. So that you could maybe add some more excitement to uh, this already very, very exciting game. Um, in our bet building combination, we are taking the foundation here with England to win the game. I still think this has been some amazing journey for Denmark. They have come together not only as a team here, we have seen the pictures of an entire country coming together. Uh, absolutely amazing, of course. But at the end of the day here, it seems like Gareth Southgate has something very, very special going on with this England side. He made a few changes against Ukraine. He has kept everyone in the 26-player big squad. Of, this is superstars in every position, but they seem to be in such a good Har harmony uh, the entire team and I think uh, they will build on that and that is what will take them through this as well and all the way to the final so I am backing England to win the game I am also backing Harry Kane to score again he scored one against Germany two against Ukraine he is finding his best form and uh, he has also seen that the deliveries from uh, especially a player like Luke Shaw would set him up in amazing uh, situations in the middle of the box also with the creativity of players like Raheem Sterling, if it's Jadon Sancho, if it's Jack Relish, whoever it will be, there will be creativity to set him up again. So Harry Kane to score in the game is also added to our bet building combination. Then we do something maybe a little bit more surprising, but we are also backing Denmark to go over 3.5 corners in this game. Uh, they are much uh, building their play from the wing backs, especially Joachim Mele, of course, and he will be flying down the wing. Uh, and no matter the situation here, I don't think that Denmark will come out and be defensive from the first minute. But also, especially if England goes up in a lead, Denmark will, of course, push forward. Uh, that's a scenario I can see. And then I'm definitely sure that Denmark will go over the four corners. So Denmark over 3.5 corners. Uh, Harry Kane to score and England to win the game is our bet building combination for Wednesday night. That is back with a medium stake. And then, of course, we are also picking out our best bet of the day. Um, this time, it's a, a bit of a higher odds on it. Uh, we are taking only a low stake on it. But again, it is with the corners and it is with Denmark as the winners on that market. Um, England have only had three corners against Germany, two against Ukraine. They are not building the team actually on coming through on the wings in the same way as some other teams. They are much about finding the tunnels inside of the wing backs and then going into Harry Kane. Of course, Luke Shaw also taking very, very good uh, deliveries, but he takes them quite early and they are not set up to create 
create too many corners. So I think that Denmark with their style of play and also maybe again here with the scenario that they have to push forward for the final 15-20 minutes of this game. We could see a lot of deliveries and we could see many corners. It pays around three times the money of course subject to change and depending on where you uh, play this. But to have Denmark as winner of the corner markets is a really good bet for Wednesday. So that is our best bet of the day. Back with a low stake, but still a very, very exciting uh, bet to have. And of course, an exciting game, whatever uh, would happen here. So let's uh, enjoy this semifinal. We are, of course, back with a big preview of, uh, in, uh, ahead of the final on Sunday. But until then, uh, I wish you um, all the best and I'll see you soon again. Thank you very much, Robin, and let's hope that we can get more winning bets coming from you. Robin has been in fantastic form in the last few days, tipping correctly, doubles, singles, and more. And we always tip the back, the we always back the tips from our expert. And uh, you can see all our great results if you go to bettingsforyou.com and navigate to the section Betting for You TV. You will find the latest episode and all our winning bets for the last months. So uh, now uh, I'll, uh, we, I will release the tips from our expert here, Ben is for you, TV at quarter on uh, Denmark against, uh, on England against Denmark. So England are coming into this match in fantastic form. They've won four of the last five games at the Euros. The only draw was against Scotland. And uh, uh, more impressively, even they are yet to concede a single goal in this tournament. So the likelihood that they will go all the way without conceding a single goal is increasing. And... Um, now, after they managed to beat Ukraine for 4 0, they are back in England, they are betting, back in uh, Wembley, where they're going to have a 60,000 fan cheering for them against Denmark. So, um, obviously, we are uh, uh, all impressed for what Denmark have done, especially considering how things have started for them uh, in, in a terrible way. They managed to go through that, they managed to improve, and they have come into this uh, game after reaching what is the second best result they have ever had after winning uh, in 1992. However, uh, it's not going to be easy for them. First of all, they are playing away, but also Southgate's side looks very determined. He has a lot of uh, great players that he can change. And also the defense looks incredibly reliable, as I said before. And um, in attack, you also have different op options. And now Eric Kane has started to score as well, it in the right form. We predicted that will happen because normally big strikers tend to get in form towards the end of the tournament rather than right at the beginning. And uh, also they can rely on Sterling that has been in the form of his life. So um, without even talking about like a Grealish and uh, Sancho and all the other players that they have at the disposal. So definitely for the Danes it's, been, it's going to be very difficult. They will still remain the history of the, in the history of this Euro 2020. Uh, but uh, if we look how they've reached this stage, they haven't really faced very, very strong teams. In fact, they have defeated Russia, Wales and Czech Republic to qualify for the semi-final. Obviously, playing against England will be a lot more difficult. It's a big, big step up for them. But uh, um, if Denmark, uh, when they play, the only team that played of similar level of England was Belgium. And in that match, they couldn't uh, handle it and they, they were defeated at home by uh, Lukaku and company. So we do expect and now that we'll find a team of the strong, of the same sides um, as Belgium and even more, and also playing at home, they will actually struggle to proceed. And uh, we do think that there is a good opportunity to back England here. And uh, we are going to go with an exceptional bet for this match. After all, it's an exceptional circumstances. We are going to place 50 credit. Yeah, you have heard me correctly. 50 credit on England to win. So confident we are that England will get the job done and we'll get the job done in 90 minutes and we'll get the qualification to the um, to the final. Obviously, you know, uh, we place uh, credits ourselves, uh, uh, always make sure that you um, you um, weight the bet depending on the stake, depending on your local, on your own circumstances. But what we want to stress here is that we are very, very, very confident that England will actually uh, go, um, uh, go to the next round. And for this reason, we're going very hard on this bet and we put all our confidence on England to win against Denmark in 90 minutes and let's hope that we can get a nice winning bet. 
Make sure you subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is to click on the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can get notification every time I post a new video. If you like the show, please, please put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to get more and more videos for you for free with quality tips. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you want to bet uh, some of the tips that we suggested, as I said before, they're all in the description below. All you need to do is to click on those links to load the bets on the bookmaker that have the best odds at the moment of recording. Obviously, odds are subject to change. Uh, I hope you, you're going to enjoy the semi-final. Fingers crossed uh, England can make it to the finals and we're going to have uh, uh, more fun also in the final. But uh, regardless, let's uh, hope that... Um, we're going to have a great game, and if you decide to play some bets, I wish you great luck. But always remember to gamble responsibly and always back, uh, bet only the money that you, uh, you can afford to lose. That's very, very important, and never, ever chase your losses. So that's all for today. Uh, great, I wish you a great semi-final, and I'll see you very soon for the final show and the final uh, special betting show on the final of the Euro 2020. Bye now!